In sheer power, the pass statement gives your programs direct access to the operating system, allowing you to run shell commands, launch tools, and automate workflows without ever leaving your code. Whether you're generating file listings, calling utilities, or exporting data for further analysis, PASS makes operating system interaction simple, efficient, and scriptable, all from within your sheer power program. This lesson introduces the PASS statement in sheer power, a simple yet powerful command that bridges your application with the operating system. It lets you execute shell commands such as listing files, launching programs, or generating output files directly from your sheer power code. Here you see the basic use of pass. The string inside the quotes is the shell command. In this case, we're writing a directory listing to a file named listing.txt. The sheer power program sends this command directly to the OS. Some tasks shouldn't block your program while they run. Adding the no wait modifier tells sheer power to launch the command and continue running your code. Here, the calculator opens and the program keeps going. This example uses pass to run the Windows task list command, filter for Chrome processes, and export the results to a CSV. Sheer power then loads that CSV into a cluster and prints the data. It shows how external OS utilities can plug right into your business logic. Notice the at sign in file spec dollar. It points to the folder where your application is running, ensuring output files go right next to your code. This keeps file management clean and predictable. To summarize, the pass statement connects your sheer power application with the operating system. From automating file creation to integrating external tools, it's your built-in bridge to the OS environment.